Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about business rule task. What is business rule task? Let's see here actually. So here we can see one of the tasks called business rule task, right? So if you remember, we already discussed about DMN, right? So decision modeling and notation, right? So we discussed already about that. So we and also if you remember, I told you so we can inject DMN into BPMN. So as of now, whatever we are drawing, right? So this is a BPMN diagram, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use existing DMN. If you remember that in, in the old video, we saw about this DMN, right? We will give that age is less than give, 18. If you are giving it, it will give the output as you are a child. If you are giving age more than 18, it will give us a you are an adult. That output it will, it will give to us, right? Hope you remember that, correct? So I'm trying to inject D, this DMN into our task planning BPMN. Okay, so let's see how we can inject that. Okay, first I just uh, create the task and I'm just changing the task as business rule task. Okay, so if you see that, so one of the tasks is business rule task. I just change that. Okay, so now if I go to properties panel, okay, so I can see that. Let me give whatever name I want. Okay, so let me just give it as like a what is that? Just I'll give it as a um, adult MPL. Okay, let it be and name also. Let me give the same thing and the implementation. If you see that implementation, you can see the additional field as DMN, right? Let me select the DMN and the reference name, right? So let me go into our DMN. So what is this name of this DMN? So edit DRD. So if you see our DMN name, we are giving as a check adult. That I need to refer this one in the DMN reference. Okay. So I need to refer that actually. I just referring that. Okay. So the result variable, I can take any variable, right? Maybe I will take as a uh, adult or child. This is maybe my variable. Okay. So, and the output result should be just a single entry. I'm just selecting that. Okay. That's all. So, what, what are the steps I done it out? I just change this task as business rule task. Then I'm giving whatever ID and name, whatever you want. Okay. Then I'm going to implementing, I'm going to implement the DMN into here. Okay. So, you can go with Java or whatever it may be. But still, if you want to use the DMN, specifically, we can use here only. Okay. So, other tasks, we cannot do it out. Only in this business rule task only we can do it out okay then the reference name so this is belongs to our adult check if you select this diagram you can see that id as well as name this id has to give here as a reference okay then the output variable whatever is coming from here as a output right so if you go in this diagram here you will get output right so that output i am capturing here okay then it is a output as a single entry maybe in future you can do or like a map or whatever it may be as of now as it is just a sample i'm just going with a single entry right okay so i done that okay so that's all so we done all the steps okay for the business rule task so how we can validate that okay for that what i'm doing i'm creating one more task okay so like adult uh, maybe give uh, let me open the properties panel for this Mm, let me change this task as service task okay so this service task let me print that okay so maybe i'll just give it as uh, adult print okay let me give the name as adult print sorry adult or child right maybe uh, adult uh, okay let, let, let it be adult or child print okay so let it be so the name also i'm giving the same Maybe let me do one Java class, okay? So I have already one so Java class, right? Let me use this actually, okay? And I'm giving the output, uh, field name as adult or child. I'm trying to print that, okay? So here adult output is okay. Output is let like be so adult or whatever it may be that output is coming from the DMN. It will print here, okay? So I need to use this class, right? Service agent age print so i'm just copying the qualified name okay i'm going into commodore modeler i'm just giving that okay so that's all i done it out and let me end up this flow okay so if you see here 
so as per our requirement right so well this is just a welcome task then it will go to user task in the user task correct in the user task i am giving the variable as age okay that's all so uh, so th for that age i am giving some input from the user task then it will go to some send task okay then it will do some scripting task then it will go to our dmn if you go inside this dmn right i am just referring he from here to our check adult our check adult is this one okay so here if i see if i show you the input variable is age so whatever we are giving in the user task right so here whatever we are giving that input it will pick it here and it will validate that and it will produce the output okay so that is what basically it will do okay so after that i what i am doing to validate that i am having one service in the service okay this is service age uh, service age print the, that is whatever name you want and i am printing that value okay so adult or child print so is that variable i am just uh, emitting right from the this one uh, what is that from that adult or child okay sorry this is the variable name okay so this is the variable name we are emitting from the dmn okay so i am just printing that okay that's all i done my side okay let me run it out and let's see i'm just refreshing I, before that let me save this yes we are facing lot of time save issue so the same way let me save dmn as well okay so what i will do let me refresh and let me run the project okay my tomcat has started successfully let me go to chrome let me hit localhost 8080 uh, let me log in with my credentials save close save now are close okay so if i go to cockpit i can see pro two process definition so task planning and same time if i go to decision okay we are having ch ch check adult okay let me go task planning right okay let me go to task list and start a process okay with the task plan let me start the process once i start the process it will give the user task okay so the diagram we can see that okay it is in this place right okay so let me claim this task okay so let me give the uh, value as 20 i'm just cleaning this okay now once it was proceed it has to go here it, this is just a service task then it will go to script task then actually our logic needs to be done then it has to give us output as child or uh, adult whatever it may be so as per my 20 the my input is 20 it has to give us out adult right yeah let me complete this okay let me go and check the log see output is you are a adult you are a adult where we configured in the dmn right so we are giving the age as 20 and that is going into that dmn then the dmn is processing that and it is treating as output okay let me try let me give less than 20 let's see less than 18 task learning start okay let me give it as 70 let me give it as 17 and try it okay see you are a child exactly right so first welcome to tech bus plus then calling another api this is send task then this is just a printing in the script task then our output is you are a child so it is going into our dmn and it is gathering in the output it is printing as part of service task right hope you got it right so this is the place i am just printing that output is adult or child okay so that's all guys this is what business rule task okay so we can inject our dmn into bpmn we understood that clearly right yeah thanks for watching